Hi, my name's Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator on the central coast of New South Wales and I'm going live this morning for my card and a cuppa um, because I'm going out later today. So this is my Facebook Live for Friday. Today we're going to play with some retiring product and it's in the mini catalogue, the July to the December one, the holiday catalogue that's retiring and it's a product that I haven't done a lot with so I thought I should have a little play with it. So it's going to have a Christmas twist, but um, it's not actually a Christmas set. So I shall put my phone up into the holder and let's hope um, I don't drop the phone and we'll get started. Okay. And then I probably should find you over on my laptop. <laughs> there we go. So let's see what I can find on my laptop. It won't be a second. Okay, but now I'm stamping up. So. <coughs> okay, sorry about that cough. Looks like I've got it all sorted on my laptop, so that's good. <laughs> um, okay. So when we went to on stage a few weeks ago, um, the Stamping Up on stage event, I got this card from one of my team members. I'll take it out of its plastic because then it won't flare as much. So Michelle, one of my team members gave me this card and I had never thought of using the Splendid Day um, suite of products for a Christmas card. <laughs> so I thought, okay this is my challenge so i've gone ahead and i've cut a few things out but i still have to cut a few other things out but i wanted to show you what we're using so we are using the copper foil sheets from the annual catalog page 139 um, you get two sheets of 12 by 12 copper and two sheets of 12 by 12 gold and they are ten dollars fifty I've also used the deckled rectangle dies, but that's sort of like a bit of a secret. It's a sneaky trick. <laughs> and I've also used the split card texture dies. So that's from the annual catalogue. So we'll put that down. And then from the mini catalogue, I've used the, where is it? Okay, so this is the Splendid Day Suite in the Holiday Mini Catalogue. I've checked this morning, none of this has sold out and it is quite heavily reduced. So the stamp set isn't reduced, it's a cling rubber, red rubber stamp set. The dies are reduced 30%. Um, these open leaf trinkets are 50% off, so they were $14, so they're down to $7. The soft seafoam ribbon is 20% off. And yes, I do have that, I think. I do. I was wondering what ribbon I could use on this card. There we go. And this is the Splendid Day Specialty Designer Series Paper. Hi, Lynn. Um, designer Series Paper. So this is specialty. So it's actually 50% off. So it's normally $27. So it's down to, what, $13.50? Um, now, when it's specialty, it means it's got something special in it. So, this paper has got um, foils. It's beautiful foil paper. So, it's got Sahara sand, it's got copper, it's got soft sea foam, it's got fresh freesia, I think that is. Oh, here it is. Yes, fresh freesia and petal pink and pool party. So it's really nice foils and on the back, um, I heard somebody say that the prettier sides are the A sides and the backs are the B sides. <laughs> so on the back or the B side, they're just flat um, prints which are nice to use and can be used sort of on virtually any kind of card. So this is the suite we're playing with today. Because I must admit, I really haven't done a lot with this suite and that's a bit naughty. But we'll make a nice card with it today. <laughs> so this was Michelle's swap that she gave me. 
and this is what we're going to be using. So I've got an A5 card base, but I've cut it lengthways. So two sheets of, like a sheet of A4, I've cut it down long. Um, I like my cards like this at Christmas time. I know some people don't, but I do. <laughs> and I'll just get that a nice score. So this is Sahara Sand. It's another color I don't use very often. Now we've got a, a matting piece of copper foil and that, that was 10 centimeters by 14.4 but I have taken a piece of it out with the deckled rectangle dies because that's going to that's all going to be covered up with the piece of the designer series paper so why cover all that foil up when you can take a piece out of the center and put it aside for another card so that's what we're doing so then I've got a piece of designer series paper, the Splendid Day specialty paper, but I'm using the B side. Very hard to do when the A side is so pretty. Um, and that's 9.5 by 13.9 centimetres. I have a piece of the split textured, split card dies um, that I had left over from my other Facebook the other night. So I thought I'd use this on this card. I've got a strip of the specialty paper, 6.5 centimeters wide. So I've just cut a strip straight down and I'll cut my Christmas tree out of that and I'll cut my circle for my sentiment out of that. So let's just move these things to one side and I'll get my cut emboss machine. It's looking a bit overcast today, but I think the sun is trying to come out. It's just having a bit of a struggle. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I forgot to say we're also using the Labels Aglow um, dies. Now, I've got the inventory status report open. And in this suite, it's just the designer series paper and the glimmer paper that's already sold out. These are still available. So let's just, I forgot to mark that. Let's just have a little look. And see. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> see, I thought I was so organised having everything marked with a flag. Here we go. Okay. So, flip back to here. Okay, so this glimmer paper is sold out and this specialty paper is sold out. These stamp sets aren't sold out. Um, the bundles are retiring. Okay. Does that, yeah, so the bun, they're not discounted, and but it says they're retiring. But I've got a feeling this one isn't. So I think the Christmas one is, but I've got a feeling this one with the stamp set's not retiring. So I can... Double check that for you later. So I forgot to mention that. Bad me. <laughs> okay, so this is my specialty paper. So I'm just going to pop that there. And another piece of Sahara sand. And I'm going to put my Christmas tree. And I need my shape of my Christmas tree as well. So have I cut my paper wide enough? Oh, just because I forgot that I needed the shape as well. Oh, what a duffer. Okay, let me just hold that down with some tape. And so these dies, I'm pretty sure, are retiring and they're not discounted. These dies are carrying over with the um, sentiment stamp set. So that's what we're going to die cut. So I love how our stamping friends and our stamping community um, give us inspiration that we've never thought of <laughs> because I had never thought of using this um, suite of products, the Splendid Day suite of products for a Christmas card. See, you've just got to think outside the box 
and I'm not very good at doing that. <laughs> but one day I'll get better. Okay, so we'll just close this up and put it back over here. So I've got my little Rosie in here with me while I'm doing this. And I don't think she realises that I am going to be going out. So she won't be very happy with me in a little while. <laughs> Those little bits of tape have well and truly had their day. Okay, so I shall get my little brush. How are you today, Lynn? Are you good? I'm getting better, but I have had to cancel team gathering on Friday. Oh, no, today's Friday. <laughs> on Sunday, because a few people have gone down with COVID, and I just felt <sighs> it's too close to Christmas for people to be getting sick. And I'm a bit, um, you know, I'm a bit immuno immunocompromised. Other than a black eye. Oh, my goodness. Who's been beating you up, Lynn? <laughs> I hope nobody. Wow. That's no good. So I'm going to use my seal on this to put it onto my copper layer. layer. Hi, Cheryl. How did you get a black eye? That's terrible. <laughs> now I've got some sticky on my paper here and I don't like that so let me just remove that I should have had my um mat underneath my um silicon mat so I'm just going to layer this onto my copper matting piece and with the little trick that we've cut the center out to use on another card now I've got some sticky there. Goodness me. Okay. So that's going to go... Let me just see. I haven't got that on very straight. So I think it'll be less obvious down here. Okay. Now I will get my matting, my silicon mat out. And I shall get... Normally I would use um, adhesive sheet for this, but... I was cutting them out the other day and hadn't thought that far ahead, so I had a full lot of work hit my arm, oh, my forehead. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. I'm so sorry. I hope you'll be okay. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I'm not laughing. <laughs> it's, it's so easy to do these things and end up with something that's, you know not very pretty <laughs> oh dearie me so I'm just going to put my split die what are they called split card textured no split card dies <laughs> I don't know that's what I'll call it a split card die so I'm just using a few odds and ends to make this card up I've got to clean that silicon sheet because it's getting a bit sticky and yuck it will happen Okay, so I might add my card, my matting pieces. I need to get some daubers. This isn't actually a dauber, Lynn, uh, Cheryl. This was one of the old sponges they used to sell, and I used to cut them up into uh, quarters or sixths, and I've just got it on a bulldog clip um, for, for when I do gluing. It's really good. So if you've got any of those sponges left over, well worth it. I don't know whether a dauber would work for um, that kind of gluing. I think they'd be a little bit too small. So I'm doing this with the glue rather than the seal. And my rose is being very good. Little precious. She had me at home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because I was 
with my cold, working for a medical specialist. They don't let you come to work if you've got any respiratory infection <laughs> because we won't allow patients in if they've got a respiratory inf infection. So Rosie was very happy to have Mummy at home. And Mummy, apart from being sick, Mummy was very happy to be home. <laughs> okay, so... We've got our little pretty copper foil specialty paper Christmas tree, which I thought we might put here. And I might put it up on um, dimensionals. So I'm just getting glue and stickiness off me. <laughs> um, dimensionals, this is bowl. Okay. I might use these pieces because... I want to try and avoid the holes in the tree. Not all these holes punch out and sometimes I don't know whether I've got them all out, but I think I have. Yes. Okay. So, um, so I'm just going to put these little pieces in amongst it. Then I might get my small dimensionals out. Um, here it is, it's right here. Okay, so we'll just put one there. So just a matter of... Avoiding the little holes. I'm probably going a bit overkill with my dimensionals. But anyway, that's the way it goes. I think that should be enough. And does anybody else find the backs of their dimensionals all over the house? <laughs> I found one on Rosie's nose the other day. <laughs> I said, you've been helping me craft, Rosie. <laughs> and they're in the ensuite, <laughs> on the carpet, all over the place. So I'm going to put that right there. So this is really out of my comfort zone because it is so not like Christmas cardy. But I've got to try and think outside the box a bit more. So I'm glad these dies aren't retiring. That's really good. I like a good sentiment and dies that cut shapes or variables designed for the size of the sentiments that's what I'm trying to say okay so let's just move that and I'll grab the stamp set because I don't even have that out is that it right yes now so Michelle my team member did tis the season um I think I might do all is merry and bright and I'm not quite sure what colour to do it in. I don't even know if Sahara Sand will stand out. I will do it in Sahara Sand. I think if I did it in copper embossing. Oh, is it my graph? <laughs> okay. <laughs> as long as your grandson doesn't find them in your bra. <laughs> That could be a whole different story. <laughs> I don't think I found them in my bra, but yeah, I, I find them all over the place. Okay, now, I do have this ribbon. Is this ribbon going to be the right ribbon? It is the ribbon that's in the suite of products. It's the soft sea foam ribbon. So let's have a little look. It's still very cloudy out there. So I've got to go and cancel the booking at the cafe up the road for a little Christmas gathering that we are cancelling. And <coughs> I've got to go to the post office and I think my new passport has arrived. So I've got to go and pick that up. I can't see what else it would be. So... Um, that they it's registered mail so 
There's nothing else registered mail that I'm waiting on, so I'm sure it's my passport. So, all is merry and bright. How cool is this card coming together? <laughs> Even if I do say so myself, but at first he thought they were lollies. <laughs> oh, well, I hope you didn't eat them. <laughs> okay, so we can put this. I might make this little bow a little tiny bit smaller. Like the loops. I think that's quite pretty. Um, glue dots. Okay. My glue dots are back on the correct side of the roll. I don't know if anybody's noticed that. I was watching a demonstrator the other day in America and somebody suggested to her, because she was saying how much she hates them on this side, which so do I, someone suggested to her to wind them off and wind them back on so that they're on this part of the roll. And I thought, oh, who could be bothered doing that? Me. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Mind you, it wasn't a full roll, so I'm not sure if I'd do it for a full roll. But, yeah, I did, I did think, okay, I think I might just do that. <laughs> I hate them on the other side so much. Okay. So, I think I might just use basic pearls. Because I think we've got a lot of shine and bling going on. I don't know why that's there. Um, and I think we'll just use some basic pearls to finish this off. So, let's have a look. I might put one here. So I really have to start trying to think more outside the box with my Christmas cards or with any cards and um, be a little bit more creative because Michelle inspired me. <laughs> so this was my swap from Michelle, my team member from on stage. And I thought, what a cool idea. I never thought of using that um, suite of products. And so that's what I've recreated. I might trim my bow down a little bit more because I think it could be a bit long. So it's kind of like a non-traditional Christmas card. How do you like that? I think it's come together quite nicely. Um, I, I really like that. <laughs> even if I, and I, I haven't even done it back to front or the wrong way around. I will put an insert on the inside and I will um, maybe stamp a Christmas tree or something inside or another sentiment. But that's my non-traditional Christmas card using the Splendid Day suite of products and the Brightest Glow stamp set. And what else? All those other things I mentioned at the beginning. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's... That's a little tip. If you're wanting to do foil or glimmer paper as a card mat and you don't want to use like a whole piece, get one of your stitched rectangle dies or deckled rectangle dies and cut out the center. And you've got that for another card. Um, and nobody knows. Nobody knows that you're being a bit scroogey <laughs> with your products. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you all have a great day. Um, it's getting closer to Christmas. I've done a little bit of shopping, not a lot. Did some online the other day. So I might brave the elements and go out on the weekend and get a few more things. Um, but I think I might wear a mask <laughs> in the shopping centre just to be on the safe side. So have a great day, ladies. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to order with me, this is my December host code. Um, I don't believe you'll be able to get your products before Christmas now. I think the shipping um, deadline has passed, but you can always order for after Christmas or if you'd like to get a gift certificate for a crafty friend, let me know and I have gift certificates available. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on Monday for my Make It Monday. Bye for now.